Go get this thousand dollars out for the um for the fans, man. Really, I'm gonna take out twenty thousand, man. Just to show people, you feel me? I'm I'm on a whole different level with this, man. I ain't, you know, I take this serious, man. So you can't put me in the same category as the others. Welcome to Mind Palace. Please subscribe if this is your first time on the channel. This young man is one of the most dangerous rappers ever lived in the United States. He goes by the name Kwame Wilson, known by his stage name Young QC. Now Young QC is currently rotting in jail because he paid the hitman $70 out of $3,500, just $70 to kill his own mother, just to get a sense on her insurance money. Young QC instructed the killer to go back and make sure the bitch is dead. What? He called her own mother by the B word. I don't know how to describe this cruelty. Young QC's mother, Yolanda Holmes, did more than everything a mother could have ever done for her only child. She gave him gifts, money, job, and a Mustang just to make him not interested in the gang life. But Young QC thought all of the money and gifts were not enough. He needed to take his mother out of the equation so he can spend her money the way he wanted. This is the most nonsense I have ever heard. Please make sure to stay to the end and you will be shocked by what QC did next. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helped the channel a lot. Matricide, the name given to a person who kills his or her own mother. What QC did after he ordered a hit on his mother is one of the nonsense things a person could have ever done. Let's take a look at when and how QC killed Yolanda Holmes, her mother. Yolanda Holmes, a single parent who owned a beauty salon and a barbering shop was loved by everyone in the neighborhood. She did everything her only son, Kwame Wilson, ever wanted. Bought him a car, gave him money, gave him a job and spoiled him with a lot and a lot of gifts. People say this might be the reason QC got spoiled. Well, on the 2nd of September 2012, in uptown Chicago, QC hired a hitman, Eugene Spencer, accompanied by QC's girlfriend, Lorena Johnson. Spencer went in and murdered Yolanda Holmes while she sleeps. Spencer later returns to Yolanda's apartment when QC instructed Spencer to make sure his mother was dead. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near this cycle. Yolanda Holmes suffered multiple gun wounds to the head and also a stab wound. During the funeral, QC was nowhere to be found as if he didn't care her own mother was gone. Friends and family of Yolanda Holmes were shocked about QC's behavior. He didn't even sit at the front row at the church during the ceremony. Later in December 2013, the police finally caught up to Eugene Spencer, who confessed to killing Yolanda Holmes and that he was hired by young QC. On December 22, 2013, Kwame Wilson was arrested and charged for the murder of his mother. So this is what QC did. Only one week after his mother's death, young QC, who was sole beneficiary of his mother's asset, liquidated all her bank accounts of around $90,000. He later posted a video on his YouTube channel where he went inside the bank and took $20,000 and threw it up in the air for his fans. Go get this thousand dollars out for the um for the fans, man. Really, I'm gonna take out twenty thousand, man. Just to show people, you feel me? I'm I'm on a whole different level with this, man. I ain't, you know, I take this serious, man. So you can't put me in the same category as the others. Don't forget, all of what QC is doing was just a couple of weeks after his mother's death. Couple of months before QC's arrest, he made a video talking about how he would murder even women if they stand in his way of making money and fame. It didn't make sense until he was apprehended. Earlier when QC was arrested, he tried lying that he did indeed send Spencer to his mother's apartment but it was only for Spencer to rob her mother, not to kill her. But Spencer later said that was not the case. QC sent him to take out his mother and he only paid him $70 out of $3,500 that was agreed upon. I don't get it. QC did not pay $3,500 after he has gotten his hands on such a fortune. What kind of greediness is this? QC later upgraded her Mustang, which was bought by her mother with golden doors and he was making a lot of waves on social media platforms, both on Instagram and on YouTube. So was QC doing all of this for money or Well, Kwame Wilson, also known as Young QC, was sentenced 99 years in prison. Eugene Spencer, 100 years, and Lorena Johnson, 14 years in prison. This is really sad for Yolanda Holmes. She only wanted the best for his only son. Rest in peace, 
Yolanda Holmes. You see, we are living in a world where people will do anything for money and fame to the point that this twisted young man will go as far as to kill his mother for money and fame. Drop your comments down below if you know anyone who is equal or worse than Kwame Wilson, who goes by the name Young QC. Please subscribe if this is your first time on the channel as it really means a lot to the channel. Stay safe. See you in the next video.